Hi, this is Jimmy Vassar uh, with a microphone in my hand. Uh, we're here at the KV Lotus uh, Racing Tent, set up day Thursday, April 15th, tax day, uh, Long Beach 2011. Getting ready to go running here. Um, I guess the, as a team, the most success we ever had was in uh, 2008. We had Will Power uh, in one of our cars and won the race. And uh, uh, good memories for me in the, in the past, or 1996, I was able to win this race and had pole in 2002. Long Beach is a track with, uh, with such a great vibe, great energy. Uh, you know, I grew up in California, so I've always had a lot of family and friends come to this race. And, and more than likely, it's going to be nice weather, great party. Uh, beautiful girls, fast cars, and uh, you know, it's just really looking forward to it. We've been off to a good start with uh, Tony Kanan joining the team and uh, podium at St. Pete, and then uh, a great drive to P6. Takuma Sato also off to a great start, tied for seventh in the points. And uh, EJ Visa, we're going to get him back on track. He's uh, had a little bit of a rough start to the season, but uh, the speed is there, and we uh, we have all the faith that that uh, that, that end of the team is going to is going to be on track soon. I. Uh, I, have, I was fortunate this morning to be inducted into the uh, to the Walk of Fame here in Long Beach, and uh, and looking with some of the names I've been uh, put next to on the street, I wonder where uh, where all my credentials came from. I, I, I don't have the numbers that back up a Dan Gurney, Parnelli Jones, Mario Andretti, but uh, I was soon told that uh, was it was my sterling drive in the pro celebrity race last year from pole to victory that that threw it over the top. So I'm pretty proud about that. You know, it's quite a bit different being a team owner uh, other than a driver. I, um, I, get, I think when I was a driver, or, or drivers should take note of this. You don't have, you don't know how good you have it. I was talking with, uh, got, a, got a ride here this weekend from Chip Ganassi, and we were laughing at the fact that uh, when I drove for him, you know, I would, I would throw fits over little things like if my laundry wasn't in the right place in my locker, or uh, you know, the guys are working their butts off in the shop and. And you come in after the first session and say the, the car's a big piece of and you know there's only 2,000 hours that have gone into it and, and then the driver just stomps away and, and I was one of them. So uh, now uh, you know I realize how difficult it is on the other side and Chip and I had a good laugh so I told him I really, I really had to apologize for my actions when I was the driver. Uh, but I'm still coming to terms with, with being an owner and I would I feel fortunate to have had the opportunity to, to uh, to transition into ownership from, from being a driver. And, and to that, I owe a great a lot of gratitude to my partner, Kevin Kalkoven. What was the other uh, question? Uh, oh, the new car. I think everybody's really looking forward to the new car in 2012. It's uh, something that, that we haven't had in many years in IndyCar racing. We had it in Champ Car uh, the year before the two, uh, the two series merged, but it used to be back in the 90s and all the way up until early 2000 that uh, new chassis would show up in the shop every year. A new design. New design meant uh, more speed, more, more grip. Uh, but with the economy of racing these days, teams just can't afford to, to buy new chassis every year. And, uh, but, but we're looking forward to having that opportunity again with a new chassis. It's always a lot of fun doing development work. Uh, it's a lot of fun for the guys and the drivers and the engineers to, you know, to try to get, to get a new machine and make it better. So I think, I think there isn't anybody out there that isn't really excited for the new car and, and the new engine uh, package. So I guess you've been listening to IndyCar.com. Thank you for watching.